hey guys, thanks for joining my channel, uh, The Cloud Surfer. Um, I have to tell you guys, fantastic airplane. I really, really like it. Uh, it's got a great flight characteristic. Um, it, um, it does everything that it says, basically, it does, and it does it well. So, And it's built well, too, which is always a, an important thing, too. Um, so some things that I, I'm just going to go over with you are things that I found as I was building the kit and also as I was flying the kit as well. Now, these things that I'm going to talk about are a little bit, little negatives, but all these negatives can be solved very, very easily, so um, they're not huge issues. So, um, like I said, my overall impressions of the plane are very, very good. So, first off, the right wing here, um, fantastic. Everything is nice and straight. Uh, the left wing here, unfortunately, the aileron and the flap, both of the those surfaces were actually twisted, so basically one half of it would be up and one half of it would be down. So Now, I had to take those and kind of bend them to exercise them the other direction. And I basically got it pretty darn close to straight, not perfect. Um, but um, as I was flying, I didn't notice any weird tendencies with the airplane. So take that for what, it, what it's worth. Uh, the um, flaps and the ailerons have quite a bit of play in, in them. And um, that's one thing I, I, that I wish was a little bit higher quality is the, uh, the hardware. The, and the only issue that it is is that where the um, servo horn is, and the wire that goes into it, just the hole's a little bit too big and that creates a little bit of a uh, of play. Again, uh, did this affect my flight as I was flying it? I never noticed anything. So uh, like I said, take that for what it's worth. Okay guys, the, uh, pl the plastic dome. Um, I, I, I don't dislike it and I don't really like it either. Um, it's a good place to place your camera. I will probably be flying this uh, generally with the plastic dome off. Um, I don't really think aerodynamically it's that irresponsible, but uh, if you're into professional aerial photography, you're not going to have a dome on there. It's just you're going to have a little bit of um, reflections inside the dome. Now, I was actually pretty surprised. I was expecting a lot of reflection and all the time, but it was actually only in cer certain positions when you were actually facing into the sun. So, um, what I would suggest for Hobby King or the makers of this um, this dome is that they give you an option. You can either run a, a clear dome or in uh, a plastic insert that can hold like a Mobius camera or a run cam um, that doesn't have any dome in front of it. So it would be like, like a cone, uh, uh, but if you look at it from the side, there would be a slot where you could put a uh, run cam or a Mobius. Um, that, those are the only cameras I tend to run these days. Uh, I put the Eternity Action cam in, camera in here and it actually worked really, really well. So guys, I was wondering about how the motor is actually canted off to one side here. And they actually, I emailed uh, Hobby King representatives and I talked to some of the managers there. And they actually did this on purpose to help with torque offset and whatnot. And the other thing they did here is actually, um, if you pull on the motor, you can actually pull the motor mount out. It's actually keyed in, you just wiggle it slightly here. You can see that you can actually pull the motor mount all the way off and this is not glued in but you see how it's got this little rib here and it's got a key right here that keeps everything lined up and where it's supposed to go so you actually just push this in and then it's seated in there and actually it's quite solid okay guys and just one more time here I was able to move my wires up the fuselage enough to give me some uh, slack so this is how you would remove your motor and change your motor if you ever wanted to so to put this back in you just line everything up slide it in and make sure you're not crimping the wires there. So basically slide this back down just like I did a second ago. Um, if you did have a problem with your motor, how would you get it out otherwise besides splitting the fuselage and destroying your model and making it look pretty terrible I would think. So um, it's actually a kind of a neat design idea because once this is down in here it gets cradled and, and it kind of gets wedged in there and it actually is a good nice tight fit. But uh, I really like the plane. Uh, it flew fantastic and so now we'll take you guys out to the field. All right, let's check all our controls. Right is right, left is left, up is up, rudders, right, flaps. Okay, let's go do it. Great. 
I have two 2200 uh, milliamp packs, uh, 3S. Full throttle now. So far, it feels dialed, man. I mean, I haven't touched a trim yet. Rudder works really well, actually. How was that? Right. that's it for the cloud surf surfer you guys so thanks for checking out my channel thanks for watching and thank you to hobby king for sending me this airplane it flies great you guys saw what it was like it was just perfect flying right off the bat so um i appreciate a good flying airplane <laughs>